Hey guys, welcome to Protocoders Point. Okay, so in this Flutter tutorial, we're gonna check out how to load a AdMob ad in your Flutter application. So here is an app I have created just for demonstration. So it has a banner ad at the bottom of our app. So let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so our app got uh, created. So let's remove the default code given by Flutter while creating new uh, Flutter project and I will just create my own stateful widget over here. Okay, so I will just run this app in my device. Okay, so our app got uh, installed in my device. So for now it has simply has a container. Uh, it is empty now okay so let's begin with uh, adding a library in your Flutter project so just go to google and over here search for admob mobile add Flutter and you will get this library or a package okay install and just copy this dependency and come to your project and in your pub dot specification file in the dependency section over here just add it okay so after adding that just click on this button pub get button so it will download the packages from our internet okay so after adding this library uh, so you need to add some permission in your android and ios folder so as you can see, please note that uh, this uh, library it works only in the SDK version or API version greater than 19 and SDK version 28. Okay, and you need to add this uh, permissions. So just copy this in your iOS folder. You need to paste. So here iOS runner info pub list okay come down and just somewhere over here just add it okay so here uh, please note that you need to replace with this with your app id that your admob gives okay so if you don't know how to get this you can just visit my website that is protocoldespoint.com and you will get the article in the description below okay so here you have here is the step by step process how to create your account and how to create and add your app to your uh, admob account okay so i will just show you your id okay so this is the id that you need to paste over here so this is just a test ad id so this tutorial this tutorial i'm just showing you a test ad so i'm making use of this id okay so now for android you need to do the same thing so you need to add this metadata just copy it go to your project in your android folder app resources main android manifest in your application tag just over here just paste it and this is the admob app id for testing purpose just copy paste over here okay and then you need to check means uh, this version means this uh, sd means this the library need android version greater than 28 so just go to build.gradle file and over here you need to check this minimum SDK you need to set it to 19 or above 19 okay and then uh, here you need to change your gradle files also because I faced a problem yeah because I was making use of a lower version before so now this is the latest version you need to change it to 6.5 point something 
so now it is 6.7 it will work on this uh, please note that okay and that's all okay uh, so setting is done means permissions and everything is done so let's uh, go to main dot dat curl over here in the main main method you need to invoke your initialization widget widget sweater binding dot enable ensure initialization and you also need to enable uh, initialize your mobile add mobile add instance dot initialize okay so this will initialize your ad before starting your app okay and then in your stateful widget over here you need to create your ad instance okay so for that what i will do is i will for this video tutorial i will just show you how to show a banner ad so i will just create a banner ad banner ad is equal to new banner ad so these are the properties you need to set size of our ad add size dot so there are various uh, properties for banner ad full banner ad large banner ad medium rectangle so i will just use this banner ad you can use anything and the ad unit you need to set or pass over here so to search your uh, banner ad uh, for now i will just use a test ad Okay, so as you can see this is the test add unit id just copy it and paste it over here uh, please note that don't give any space between them if there is space then the ad will not load okay and then the listener you need to set and the listener will be banner add listener okay and then there are various properties that you can make use of add loaded okay so what should happen after the ad is loaded you can trigger it and you can do your task so for now just i will make use of print command Okay. Likewise, there are various properties that you can use to trigger the add, add fake load. Okay, so here you can print your command that, or you can use what should happen after the add is loaded. Means if uh, add failed to load, you can do it over here, and you can dispose the ad by just using add dot dispose okay so it will not try keep trying to load your ad okay and then what should happen after ad is opened when when the ad when the user clicks on the ad what task you need to perform so this you can use if you are pre developing any game or if you can use this to uh, give reward to your ad app users okay so here at last you need to make a request for your ad so just call add request and give a semicolon okay so this is the instance that is being created okay so now you can use this instance to show your ad in your app so here in container i will just replace it with a scaffold widget okay and the scaffold widget will have a app bar or we uh, no, there is no need to give a app bar so i will just directly give a bottom navigation bar uh, where i need to show a add at the bottom of our app and here i will just make use of container container child the child will be add widget 
and this widget will accept a add parameter or an instance object that is dot load so this is the instance that we have created here banner add instance and this is used the double dot is used so that this add can load in future okay and then we need to provide a unique key for it so i will just make use of this unique key okay so now if i run this app okay so app is getting installed in my device so you can see there is a ad at the center of our screen uh, so that's because i have not specified any size or width height so to this container so it is acquiring all the the available space in our app so i just need to give a height to this container so so to bring it to bottom of our app so restart okay i need to restart our app hot reload will not work okay so as you saw uh, here there is a add that will load at the bottom of our uh, app so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to show a ad mob ad in your Twitter app okay so in our next video tutorial we will check out how to show this ad in a list view after some items and if there are many items uh, we can what we can do is we can show two items and then a ad then we can show five items then an ad like this in your next tutorial we will do it okay so that's all for this video tutorial uh, please do subscribe protocol as point thank you